Hello, welcome to Transport Fever 2 with plenty of UK mods, part 2 or episode 2. This is going to be fun. Uh, it's already up in the background. Um, you should be able to hear it if I click on some of these symbols here which you can't see. You should be able to hear it. And hello Kanga Fango, who may not be in chat yet. Hold on, Kanga Fango's usually here by this time, but he's not written anything. Hmm. Well, he is in the users in chat view. Who knows? Maybe he's lurking this time, wouldn't that? I mean, that there's always a first for everything. <laughs> hello, Mr. W, welcome. Is VC an option? Because if so, I'll keep Discord open just in case. Um, we've not tried it before. But I'm willing to give it a go. <laughs> we might find out that uh, it's a bit too distracting with having to explain what I'm building. But we can try if you want to. Uh, wait. Hello, Miki. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, what's up? How's it going? It's actually going quite well, thank you. Watched uh, a couple of episodes of Star Trek today and I really quite enjoyed them. Okay, also it's a, another question with regards to performance, but Discord shouldn't affect performance too, too much? We'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, <clears throat> so actually, right. So Mr. W, would you like to join VC now or maybe later? Uh, because if it's later, then I'll open up Discord at that point. Or if it's now, then I'll leave it open. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm leaving to play Transport Fever 2. Oh, learning, not leaving. Learning. Ah, very nice. It's a great game. Restart Trek, you mean we enjoyed them. Haha, <laughs> yes. Hello, Kanga Fango. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, also, since you seem to be interested before, I did upload the first two parts of my Living Art walkthrough series to my YouTube channel. Nice. Hello, yes. Welcome, Eliza VGR. And the soup rice stream. Soup rice? Surprise? No, it's not a surprise. It's on my schedule. You can see it's there. <laughs> hmm, hopefully I'll be checking them out soon. Nice. A multiplayer option would be interesting. Which of people could build competing railroad tr transportation numbers? Yeah, like for example with OpenTTD or Chris Hall's Railroads or things like that, which did have them. Um, and I did think about that, but I think Kango, uh, I mean, me as well, but I think Kango doesn't have that much experience with OpenTDD, so... Uh, hello, Willis1961, welcome! Be great, share this, Discord, just loading up, I grab a pair of headphones and sort out a couple things, I'll let you know. Okay, then let me know when you're ready and then I'll open it. And we'll see if performance-wise it'll work and things like that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Criticize locomotion trailers. Okay, so let's get started. By get started, I mean let's continue. So here we are. Last time we had left off, we'd made quite a bit of profit by selling, well, by transporting grain from over here all the way over to here. <clears throat> so the plan is to, well, and then sending food up there as well. The plan is to first check how these lines are doing, if they need any more stuff. Let's get started with continuing, exactly. So if these need more uh, wagons or things like that. And then I think I want to get started with some passengers. <clears throat> yes, getting some passengers from Erith up to Stockport. Because we've already got the line, we just need to build passenger uh, stations. And I think that would be nice, because that also will cause the towns to grow more. So firstly, I'm going to resume the date down here so I don't forget. It's Talbot. <laughs> and then resume the time. So let's see. This line here, which is the Grain 2 line, has a f ooh, only a rate of 127. It needs a rate of 200. So... How much would it be to buy another one of these trains? 
Can I see? No, but I'll try it anyway. Actually, no, I'm going to do it manually, because that way I can uh, make the train a bit more unique. So it can load 77 cargo. And by unique, I mean the, the composition. Right, I'm ready when you are. Great, great. I'll open up Discord. One moment. <clears throat> if it lags too much, then I will have to close it. But we, we can see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Just starting up. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll... Uh, is that all good? Uh, that should be fine. I'll do a, a voice call in the DMs. If that's okay, I'll, I'll move it out so none of the messages are shown. There we are. Right, so yes, I've I've started a call in, in our DMs. If you want to join, you may do so. There'll be 200. What? 200 what? Nah, you're at least 350. <laughs> I get the reference. The stupendium. Uh, Mr. W, yes, Mr. W wants to, wants to join me. You're in! Hello! Uh, um. Oh, you're in there. Okay, well, I suppose I can go back to my server as well. That'll work. <laughs> sure. Hello, welcome. Hello? Hello. How do I, um, how do I sound on stream? Um, uh, because because last time, um, <clears throat> when I watched the stream, I noticed my voice was quite um, what's the word? Like not not the clearest. So I'm just wondering if I should, if I should put on a pair of headphones that has got like a built-in microphone. I, I can hear you. I can hear you. Right. You sound good to me. Okay. Well, I'll ask. I'll ask the chat then. How do I? How do I sound? Actually, you know, this one, maybe we should make the train go backwards. Like, not the train, well, but actually, okay. Said, hmm, you sound a lot like that Mr. W fellow. Yes, I know <laughs> that. Yeah, you sound fine. Int intelligible enough. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, what I might do, I might, like, watch it... Um, uh, or listen to it another time, and then if not, and then if and then if that's bad, then I'll just put on a pair of headphones with a built-in mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just uh, bought another train, and mm -hmm. it's got it's a tank engine, and it's got it's reversed. So to add a little bit of variety, all the trains that have got got on this line have the same stats ish. This one's a little lighter because it doesn't have the tender. But it should add for a little bit more variation when we ride along lines and things like that. Oh yes, now that you mention it, mm -hmm, there's definitely a, a tremendous resemblance. <laughs> yes. By the way, how is the audio balance? Is uh, Mr. W and the game alright? To me it sounds fine. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me in front of the... Can you hear me... Um, in front of the choo choos, are you, am, I, are I, am I hearable? Hello? That reverse one did not show up in the list of locos. I'm tired. Ah, yes. That is understandable. The reversed one. The reversed one did show up. It's just a little bit lower. It's one of the variations of the original one. So if I go to. If I go to here. I go to Steam, I click on the locomotive, if I scroll down on the... on the right... Wait, what? Oh! Maybe you can't replace them. Maybe it's only if you buy a new vehicle. Oh, that's weird. Why doesn't it... Hold on, if I click here... Is it done something? Um, maybe. <laughs> oh, right, it counts it as a multiple unit. 
that's why. If you go to multiple units, that's why when it shows it in there. So if you go to all, then it does show them like this. And then down uh, near the bottom, um, I think. No, if you go to all and then you click on it, then it shows all the, ver the ver uh, variants. But if it's not set to all, if it's set to Steam, it'll only show one and multiple units, it'll show the other one. Apparently, or something like that. It's, I don't know. If you, if you just leave it on all, you, you can also t search for it up here and that should find it. According to Kango, I am pretty hearable. And there's a very good balance and an excellent setup. Good. Uh, then, a couple of, then a couple of generic noises. <laughs> um, SMU. Yes. Yeah. Steam multiple units. Yeah, as opposed to DM. I'm, I'm going to try and guess what these are. As opposed to Steam multiple unit or... Diesel multiple unit? Yes. And electronic multiple unit? Uh, yes, electric. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, so here it goes. I'm, ge I'm getting, I'm getting, I, I'm, 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 um, I've got uh, like train knowledge through sheer osmosis. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the the line now has so both lines now have almost got two hundred. Actually, this one has now got two hundred rate, so that should be fine. Uh, so it should get all the grain over here perfectly fine. So let's build. Actually, one, one moment. I want to quickly see. Uh, yes. Let us start transport fevering. <laughs> yes, feverishly, of course. So. Yes. Let's build a tra uh, a terminus, a passenger terminus. So. I want this to have the capacity for quite a few platforms because I want mm -hmm. multiple lines from multiple areas coming down here and that'll it'll just look good also so either I could reuse this bridge like I maybe add a few more tracks to it and have the terminus over here with a curve or have you uh, have you turned your advance back on yet yes I have the the days are ticking by I've turned it up to one time yes or I could have the station here elevated with a bridge going out over the river. And I think that that's probably the best option because in the UK there are quite a few stations like that, including up in Glasgow, like Glasgow, Glasgow Central, I think, is one of those. And Glasgow Central. Is that a song that you've made up? It's, let's see, it's, um, let's see if I remember it. I can't remember the original name of the song, but... Glasgow Central is the name of a comedy parody of a different song done by Billy Connolly, a Scottish stand-up comedian slash musician. Huh. I've not heard of that. Uh, I think I've got... I, he, he performed it is um Because <clears throat> you know how some comedians, they... Um, like record their performances on 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 CDs. Mm -hmm. I think I've got that CD somewhere. It's called the Big the Big Yin, is what oh. it's called. What's, yeah, I can't remember what the um, original song was called, but so I've just spent six hundred thousand uh, dollars on a station. Nice. Okay, now I will want a uh, bus terminus here. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'll use the loop. I think that'll look nice. Kango says, I've heard the comedian's name, but don't really know anything past that about them, yeah. Um, I think it would be like the 80s and early 90s, I think, with Billy Connolly's era, mostly. I think he's, st he's still alive, I believe, but I'm not entirely sure that he's um, com com comedianing as much <laughs> nowadays, I don't think. Okay, so I I don't have the option to change the road type, so we've got a bit of a modern looking road on this bit, but that's fine. Yeah. And I've got the station here elevated, so I hope to bring a bridge across and then have it curve either around the left or the right, probably the left, and then join up with this line here then go up to Stockport. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm going to I've deliberately put it a little bit back from the river because I may need pl uh, area for junctions in the future. Mm -hmm. so, are you on like are you on like the uh, the campaign mode or are you on like a free mode? Um, so this is sandbox. Well, it is a a randomly generated game sandbox essentially, but I am playing with money and with things like that mm -hmm. and with advancements with unlocking things. Mm -hmm. There is a campaign mode where you go through missions, but this is essentially free play. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to. I think this bridge looks quite nice. Okay, sure. Let's use this one. Yeah, that does. And actually, I'll. Ooh, it'll even allow me to extend it over the road as well. Lovely. Okay, it says uh, free play, only money. Yes, free play. That is the word. So only free in one sense then. <laughs> yes. Okay, and I'll demolish this bit because I would like to have an embankment here instead of a bridge. Mm -hmm. Although thinking about it, maybe if I can bring the road underneath, maybe that would work. Hmm. So I'm actually going to bring. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to bring the road in first. Oh, we've got the Rolex. Um, two two two, and the Caledonian. We've got the Caledonian stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is a uh, in real life a uh, railway from Scotland. Oh. Caledonian railway. Okay, so let's see. Let's just quickly connect this road. And tell you what, I'll I'll put in the medium road because we may need that in the future, and I don't want the bridge to put its supports in the wrong place. So. I want a little bit of bridge here to make sure that the road gets underneath. Mm -hmm. And then the rest I want to be embankment. Mm. Kango says the class 76 in 1859. <laughs> Not that yeah, class 76. And then a Wikipedia article. Okay, so we've got the bridge coming in. So now. Uh, let's have the let's have the line continue on. Let's enable the uh, contour lines, just so that I can see what I'm doing height-wise. It just it just looks like the world is covered in snow. <laughs> it does a bit, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a curve because the contour lines curve that way, and I don't really want to build too much of a gradient here because that will slow our trains down. Okay, so am I building the left track? Yes, I am. Okay, so I can just come along here and then just come on in to the track with a nice diamond. Although I would like that to be a little bit faster if possible. Okay, sort of 60 miles an hour should be good for the curve because of course the tighter the curve is the slower the trains have to go along it. Mm -hmm. And I'll make the other track of this, like the, the double track aspect. And once we've got EMUs, electrical multiple units, I can upgrade this track for thir with third rail stuff as well, which is a mod. So with an electric rail. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'll quickly have to redo this signal because at the moment the signal is after the junction, which isn't really very useful because I want trains to be able to go up to the junction uh, before they are stopped. So I'll delete that one. There we go. And I'll just add a few more signals along this way so that the trains can queue up basically. They don't have to wait until uh, well until the, until the entire line is clear. Mm -hmm. I'll also need a crossover by the station so that they can get onto the correct line, onto the correct side. So do I want... Actually, I'll, I'll just do, do a, a, a double crossover if it'll let me. Which it looks like it will. Great. Although sometimes this can be a bit finicky. Yes, my castle's abandoned, but I must ask you, so what? There are, there are nothing but terrifying sights in the paintings and cobwebs between the buttresses and battlements. But if... But I'd be right... But I'd be a right why swindler if I said I didn't still very much admire the structures Immense historical majesty, Gabriel Castle. What a place! <laughs> hey, that's from your old. That, that's, do you remember Ka when Kango was 
um, telling those stories that he he wrote that he he thought up. Like I was going to say, yeah, I thought yeah. I recognised the name Gab Gab Gabblenock. <laughs> okay, I'll have two signals on the bridge as well. So, this is all well and good, but at the moment our depot, we can't reach the, the station from the depot. Our trains would have to go all the way around. So, I could do one of two things. Either I could put turn this into a Y, so that the train, like in a, to a triangular junction, so the trains could come from the depot, then all the way down here, then turn around and go back up. Or I could do, well, hmm. Actually, that's a bit of a interesting thing. Kanga was... says that you mentioned Gabble Rock in the train streams number seventy and eighty-seven, ah. uh, and, and and because he said, I believe, I can only assume that he's managed to get that from memory, which I have no idea how he's managed to do. <laughs> so I could do that, or if I could find a place to put in a junction here. I could maybe have a little line running through the town, which would be very aesthetically pleasing, but I don't think I can connect it to the station properly. No. Um, mm, I can try, but I don't think it'll look any good. Like, I'd have to have the junction on the bridge, which eh, isn't ideal. Yeah. Could I...? No, nah, that wouldn't work. I mean, I suppose I could add a... <laughs> yeah, but the problem will be we'll be facing the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm just going to put in a little Y at one end, just to fix this for now. Maybe I can add something more fancy later. That does not look good. Yeah, you're right, it doesn't. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to build that l that way. Okay, so here we go. And these little diamonds here, I'm going to make a uh, double slip switch which means that instead of just crossing over, you can also turn off on these bits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got... Actually, I'll quickly save. Mm -hmm. save. So, now we've got one station, which I will detail in a little bit, but I want to put in the other terminus uh, first, which needs to go up in Stockport. So we've already got a station here, which at the moment has the big freight... Uh, the big freight platform, and a tiny yeah. little passenger one to connect it to... They built over my tree! No! No! Go away! <laughs> I, it looks <laughs> like I'll, I'll have to put in a different object that they won't build over. <laughs> uh, maybe a little fence. Uh, signals on the Y, says Willis. Uh, yes, I will look into that. Actually, maybe if I do something like that. And then maybe have the wall go back, well, back here. Sort of like that, perhaps. Maybe that'll stop them from building here. <laughs> um, okay, so what I could do is either extend this platform, which is quite narrow, or I could extend it on the right. Hmm. Let's see. So this is already a uh, small UK platform, I believe. Platforms. The yeah. Rascals. The <laughs> rascals. That's going good. Indeed. Uh, the t the tall brick wall does look a tad ugly, but hey, if it'll stop them. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm just. I think I'm going to. Okay, actually, I'm going to have a footbridge connecting over here, but I am going to have a passenger platform on this side. And I'm mm -hmm. probably going to use the old King's Cross one, if I can find it. Uh, actually, I've got it selected. <laughs> or is that a bit too narrow? Might be a bit too narrow. Uh, let's, let's, one moment. Dun, 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 dun. Um, <coughs> Tango says, and B, maybe there's an auto builder preventer object mod? Uh, perhaps. And Willis says, I think I would add another track in the station so passenger and freight trains don't block one another. That is a good point. 
Okay, so I'm going to use the King's Cross asset. So the, the passenger platform. Then I need to add a platform, uh, well, a track to that. Uh, where is it? That is back here. Standard tracks, there we go. <clears throat> and now I would like to put in a footbridge because I have a mod that adds footbridges. I want one facing the other way. Actually, this one's an old one. And th 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 um, yeah, let's use the old one. Why not? Will station get a platform nine and three quarter? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Well, I with, refuse. Well, with, yes, well, with your dis with your dislike of of Harry Potter, it is doubt worthy. Yes. There we go. Which sounds, like a, which sounds like a character from Harry Potter, <laughs> ironically. So, <laughs> it does. Professor <laughs> Doubtworthy. Yeah. So look, we've got a platform on this side with even, it's even got a little fence, and then we've got a footbridge <laughs> going over the cargo platform and down here. Uh, I think oh, I can oh, yeah. add, I think I can also add a little bit of roofing or, or pla um, hold on. Uh, th 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 um, I can add a shelter with some Sure, why not? I'll add a, a little shelter with... Actually, should I do that or... Actually, I might as well now. So there we go. Got a nice little shelter with some benches as well. Uh, okay, and I'm quite happy that this mod works this well with the station that's on the slant, because the station is actually on, on a grade. Uh, Willis says this is a small station, it gets a platform 1.5. <laughs> Very funny, yes. Okay, so now it's time to actually connect these lines up. So, I think I'm just going to connect one line up here, then make a crossover like that, and I'm going to have to redo, well, actually, I'm just going to put in an additional signal here. And I'm going to put in a signal there. So that should now be protected. And I'll put in a few signals on the Y. Uh, namely, I'll put one there, and I'll put one there, yeah, and since there's an approach here, I'll put one on this side as well. And that one's close enough, I think. Okay, so now we've put in the infrastructure, well, most of it anyway, but, well, because this station already covers pretty much the whole town. I'll put a bus line in here later, but now it's time to put in a passenger line, our first passenger train. Uh, but it'll say first. Okay. New line. From down there, up to there. So let's name this line. Let's call it... Let's just call it Erith Stockport uh, commuter, why not? And I have to make sure that it's using the correct platforms. This one's fine, but on the other side, it might be using a wrong platform, we'll see. And yes, indeed, it's using a wrong platform. So here, I need to switch it over to platform one. Good. Now it's time to put a train on it. No clue on what's going on. I am making a passenger line to run from Erith to Stockport. Express. Yes. Well, can you really call it an express if there aren't any stops that it's skipping? I guess if you say that it's a direct line, then yes, an express would work, but can but there's no real, real difference otherwise. So, let's have a look at our new loco. So this is 45 miles an hour, uh, which is slower than the other one. It's a little bit stronger. But actually, I think that this... what's price, price-wise? Uh, that's 121,000 a year, 124,000 a year. Yeah, I think I think I can use this one. Uh, build for the Caledonian Railway, because we've got the Dean Goods on, on this line, which is a little bit slower as is. So now I can use either the compartment car... Actually, what's the speed limit? Ooh, no, that one would be too slow. Could use these ones. Yeah, let's use the generic British carriages. Uh, let's see. 
which ones do I want to put on here? Uh, but let's just put any of them on. Let's put on uh, some of... what's the difference? I don't know. Let's put on some of these ones. Two of these, or maybe three of these. And then I'll put on a third class one from these ones, and then a break one. 30 capacity should be fine. Let's buy one for two million dollars. And let's put it on the line. Well, gotta go, I'll be back in like an hour or so, uh, or more, so yeah. Bye bye, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> okay, so here's the train. Have you read um, Kango's long thing? No, yet? I have not. I will do it just now. <clears throat> okay, the voice of a medieval interviewer. I mean, I mean, really, if you were if you were gonna do this, then surely you would put you would write it in medieval, speaking of with Dao. And stuff. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna do it, do it right. But hey, I'll read what he's read. Sir, I realise that you've clearly had a nerve of this. What I can only imagine you, what I can only imagine you to perceive as immensely pesky interview. But can you at least give us your name? Or are you just Lord of Gabblelock? What? <laughs> Maybe next year. But, sir, please give me at least one little hint. Stand still. Yeah. Finally, it's over. That was... I don't know where that accent went at the end there. A good place. <laughs> um, Willis, you're probably gone by now, but see you, see you later. Um, no, not Willis. Um, Miss... Mi... 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 What was it? Mi... Miss... I'm, I, ju um, I just follow Mickey. Mickey. Um, <laughs> Willis says I did front brake, two first class, four third class, rear brake. Uh, and Kanga says it is great voices. Yeah, about the cars, about the coaches, maybe, maybe. It depends on how many people I get. I will add more later. But yeah, we've got a nice Caledonian loco. Okay. Kanga says, says, thanks Mr. W for reading that message, oh god, you're not, you're not doing like an Eliza thing, are you? Where you're going to voice <laughs> a separate character. Your first passenger train. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, the way I usually do passenger trains is I keep them quite small until there's more demand and then I just add more coaches to meet the demand. <laughs> That is that is a, a very Thomas blue that you've given. Okay. Uh, I think it's a bit of a deeper blue, and that that is the that, this is the Caledonian blue, which um. the actual real life locos did wear. Um. Let's see where it'll go first. Uh, Stockport. Ah, okay, nice. So we're going over to Stockport first. Uh, or not? Uh, but what? VGR VGR said, v, VGR relays a message from Eliza, and she says, "We do a minuscule amount of tomfoolery. I call nonsense to that." Um, oh, we've just unlocked. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 all, it's more of like an actually, yeah. Now you see it. I mean, it might just be because of the um, what's it called? The thing at the back, the thing at the back of the actual train itself that you put the coal in. Uh, you mean the tender? That was it. Yeah, it might just be because of the tender, but it's more of an Edward blue, maybe. Hmm. In the show, I think Edward and Thomas and Gordon all had the same blue. Oh, that's so boring! <laughs> they could have at least had the same, um, a different shade of blue. I really like this loco sounds that they put on it. Okay, I will now uh, ruin the audio for just a second as I will unmute and just listen to the sound. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Eliza, <coughs> Eli Eli uh, VGR says, says in brackets that they did, and Willis says it was a bit lighter shade of blue. Well, what, uh, all the for Thomas. Or? I think Thomas, Edward, and Gordon did have at least in the the show they had the same shade of blue. Hmm. But yes, it is lighter than this one. And then there's a uh, there's an image. I'll fast forward this bit because. I, d I want to actually build some more stuff. I don't want to spend ages just watching the train. Even though if I were playing this offline, I would <laughs> absolutely watch <laughs> this train going all day. But um, yeah, there's an image of the three blue fellows.
and a link that Kango previously posted uh, didn't work, so it was now posted in another one. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do. I'm aware oh, that I will yeah. add a, uh, a bus line on the other on the other thing soon. Yeah, they are really similar. But again, it's been years since I've seen any of these. Our but first yeah. passenger. Look, this guy, Archie Roberts, is officially our first passenger, and we can actually rename him. Yeah. So I'll add passenger number one. First train pass passenger, passenger passenger. Which way around does that go? Uh, no idea. Is it really? Uh, I always miss. I always miss. Let's let's just call him train rider. <laughs> I is the cheeky one, the wise guy, and the galloping sausage. <laughs> the galloping. What? Uh, well, it says, Passenger. and with red, wet and with red trim instead of white trim. Mm -hmm. uh, Kango says to add Junior behind it. Uh, and yes, the cheeky one, the wise and the galloping sausage, whatever the heck that <laughs> The means. trains. The Thomas is the cheeky one, and Edward is the wise uh, one, and the other one was very quick. Gordon is somehow a galloping sausage. Yes. Which just sounds wrong. Okay. Oh, it's probably a reference to a quote. Uh, Gordon... He called me a galloping sausage. I remember that. Oh, is it is it Spencer's quote or or what? I don't well, well I don't know. I mean, it's um, K Kanga says that it was said by Gordon, so he's put Gordon colon he and in speech marks he called me a galloping sausage. Hmm. So I assume it was said by Gordon. Was Spencer the really no? No, I'm thinking of Whirly. Whirly was the really smelly one, wasn't he? Um, I think Whiff. so. Whiz, Whiff was the 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 smelly one. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. No, I think I've talked about it before. I think I've still got a like from my childhood a big box of Thomas um, of, of Thomas toys. You know the ones we used to get them in um, um, like one per pack. Um, I don't know if they're still go I don't know if they're still going, uh, but I've got a whole box full of those. Hmm. Okay, so I think I've, I think I've also somewhere got like a um, oh, I just trying to find the words for it. Like you know the ones where you where you built a track and you set the trains on it, but it was like um, you pressed a switch and the trains actually went on it. I think I've still got those somewhere. I might have given them to a younger relative. Ah. Yeah, I I had the wooden railways. When I was oh younger. yeah. Um, Kango says uh, Whiff was the one with glasses working in the uh, waste stuff. That was mm -hmm. yeah. That must be what I was thinking. I just I don't know why I just remember it yeah. early. Spencer was um, an A4, yes. Hmm. Uh, well, it says a blue sausage. <laughs> uh, don't eat it if that's the uh, case. Uh, sounds a bit undercooked. Uh, I'll just check the link that uh, yeah. Kango's put in. I will say on the wiki page, that is an aggressive amount of blue. Ah, yes. Very, very true. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so we're now headed for Aerith, Aerith Central. Nice. Uh, Eliza says those Japanese ones. <laughs> I do know, I think this is something I've told you before. There was a, um, <clears throat> a Thomas the Tank Engine video game exclusively for Japan. Um... Which was more like yeah, a collection of I remember. yeah, which was more like a which was more like a collection of video games of mini games, mini games rather, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's where I learned that everywhere else, um, the fat controller was called Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching the videos you sent. Yeah, I remember you saying you didn't really like his comedy, but I it was I I don't I, I gathered that you, it wouldn't be be you wouldn't really be to your taste. Um, but I just thought it would be something you know, that would be of interest to you. Oh yeah, it was interesting. Oh wait, did I build this bridge on a very slight curve? <laughs> I think I built the bridge on a very slight curve. Oh well. Oh yeah, oh, oh. That's okay. It's, <laughs> it's straight enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
but hey, it's not that big of a deal. I hope. Yeah, I mean, I can rebuild. It, yeah, but we can rebuild. We have the bricks. Technology. Yes. <laughs> Is that an Iron Man reference or...? I don't know. I, it's just a popular reference. I don't know exactly yeah. where it's from. I think it might be Iron Man? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds vaguely Robocop-ish to me, but... Yeah. Who knows. Okay, and there are people actually waiting here who want to go the other way. So th that'll need a bit of time to kind of run itself in. And actually, just to get the rate down a bit... Yes? I'm going to clone the train. Mm -hmm. uh, manage vehicles, that one, duplicate. Just to get the rate down a bit, things should be fine. Now, I want to expand the freight network. Oh, and look, there are quite a few people waiting here already. Ah, yes, very nice. You can see them all wait wearing their 1860s clothing as well. Their Victorian clothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, Willis uh, Kanga says I might have seen his video on that game as well not fully sure though um, Willis says possible names for your trains the galloping goose dodgy duck swaggering swan chug chugging <laughs> chugging chicken uh. and tottering turkey they, those all sound like pub names true they, they all do uh, Kanga says the guy who put the locomotive's funnel on his head yeah I also remember not really liking the comedy in that one might have been the same one yeah, uh, the person who put the the person the person who put his the funnel on his hat that was Tom Scar, but it wasn't his video. Um, it was Kadikarus who did the video, who d originally did the video. Um, and Kanga also suggests Capital Duck as the name. <laughs> oh, uh, we've only got one. We've only got one materials construction plant by the looks of things, unless I've just sorted it wrong. Ah, we've got two. One is by Ghoul, up here, and the other one is at Winslow. Uh, hmm. Actually, Winslow would be quite nice, because Winslow also needs bricks, and we've got a quarry nearby. So if I could set that up... And then there's also Olney down there also needs bricks. So actually, I think that could be our next thing, and then we can also connect it up to... Uh, Stockport because that also needs bricks. So I think we'll do that. Mm -hmm. mm, I think one train could work. I'm still like I I still like I still I still find it difficult to make the mental connection that the narrator for Thomas was also the drummer for the Beatles. Like <laughs> those two, like I, I I don't see how that Venn diagram can cross. <laughs> well. It can do it very easily if you get it angry. Yeah. Okay, is that a long enough platform? Uh. Also, do we really need... Actually, I suppose yeah, having two here would be quite good. For drop-off and pick-up. Uh, also, over in the US, do you know which narrator came after Ingo? Please, do tell um, me. I think I remember this, but I can't place the name. I may have heard the narrator, but I can't I don't know his name. Okay, so... Actually, I'll... I'll put the station there, or maybe even elevate it slightly. And then just add a little road going up to it. Uh, just so it's easier to negotiate the hills. Uh, George Carlin, says Willis. Only that was the name of the uh, innovator. Hmm. There we are. Okay, so we've got a station by the materials construction plant. Now we need one over by the quarry and one over at Winslow. Mm -hmm. Because the way this industry chain works is we get stone from the quarry, we bring that to a materials construction plant, and then from there we bring it to a city because that turns it into material, uh, building materials and things. Uh, Kangafanga says that George Carlin was a comedian, but if you'd listened to one of his comedic performances, you'd <laughs> never think he'd narrate for, for Thomas. 
uh, quite a lot of swearing. Yeah, uh, I assume that, I assume that is referring to his comedian comedic. <laughs> Um, whereas that would be that has like like I've seen things on the internet where it's kids films but with what's known as unnecessary censorship where they replace oh. certain words with, with, with certain words with bleep and some of it is just the funniest thing <laughs> somebody has got to have done something like that for Thomas they've got to have like that that's just it's quality meme of material <laughs> I'm going to use a, another freestyle station here mm -hmm. to build this one because I think I'm gonna want to have a curve in here which mm. is easy to do with this okay so I want that there and do I want it to go slightly uphill eh, why not if we're speaking of um, <clears throat> if we're speaking of comedic comedic performances um, one of the funniest things I think I've ever heard was a um, I think it was something that my dad had on a um, like on like a record, and it was let's see, I think it was a recording of like an after dinner speech from the eighties from an air traffic controller called David Gunson, and you can find it on on YouTube. It's called "What Goes Up Might Come Down," hmm. and oh, it's just I, I mean again, you know, it wasn't the eighties, so there's so there are there are two examples of. Um, of of um, of a racist um, remark, but that's only two, and it's all done without without swearing. Like I think the most explicit word he says there is the word hell, but it's just incredibly funny. <laughs> uh, Kangafango says if you're interested in stuff like that, someone has actually mixed audios from George Carlin's radio plays with all the strong language with clips from Thomas. <laughs> 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 this is very seamless. Oh, that's going to be good. Um, Mickey, welcome back, and hope you're Hello. enjoying your gr your grilled food. Um, the ed the edited clips are on Jaws Jaw Two's channel, and there's a link there. It's 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 very odd. So can go yes, but it sounds like an absolute blur. Okay, and just to make this look a little bit better, I am going to paint a little bit of asphalt in here. And we haven't even gotten to the nice foliage brushes that I've got in this. Mm -hmm. That should be interesting. Um, uh, hold on, I quickly fix this. I need to quickly fix this. One moment. Something more like that-ish. Uh, a bit like that. Sure. Why not? That's fine. I keep forgetting about the three star sessions. Yes, they're really, really nice. Okay, so now, uh, how do I want to connect this? Let's put on the contour lines. I'll have. Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Do I want this? Where, where do I want to double track this? I think I'm going to delete the road and then build the tracks first and then make the road uh, conform with how I want the tracks instead of the other way around. So we're going to have the double track bit starting here. And then I can have those going around. And connecting up with my station. Mm. So like that. And then we need one more station. And a depot. Depot, depot. And then we can I've put the train in. I I've heard it um, depot, let's say. Yeah, I think American is depot and British is depot. Whereas, um, whereas Australian is depot. Really? No. <laughs> depot. Depot. The, the pot. Actually, this one would also be really nice as a... Mm, okay, I'm going to rebuild this because the, I need this to be a freestyle station because it needs to go around a curve. I've actually just realized. Hold on. So I'll put it on a curve like that. See, I forgot about it as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the Freestyle Stations mod is so good. Like, you can't even properly appreciate how good it is until you've played the game yourself with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Kanga says, Depot, the one you play as is Living Art? In Living Art, probably. 
Yes, but that's what I said. In living art. Ah. <laughs> the one you play as, as the one you play as in living art. There we go. I still, I still remember the music from that first, um, like the first world. I suppose would be the act. word. The way I call it, I call it act. An act. Mm-hmm. What did you use to? Because you made that yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I used Logic, uh, Logic Pro. Logic. <laughs> Okay, so now I can make the second platform, and then you can actually see how you can connect multiple platforms together. So the way you do this is you just do it as normal, and then it'll ask you which, J which station to join to, and then I can press join here, and then it's joined it to form one station. Of course, now I still need to put connections on here. But then, then, and only then, can I uh, make this work, basically. I'll probably have to do a little bit more flattening as well. That's fine. Uh, I'll put some stuff on here. I can just say, uh, no, um, well it says depot, depot. Sounds like the little guy on Fantasy Island. Deplane, deplane. Uh, Kanga says Logic Pro, yeah, Apple product. Well it says, I wonder why it puts the signs on the inside next to the tracks. I don't know. I thought that it might have something to do with the direction of the markers, but from my experimentation, that's not really been the case. But maybe you can experiment with it and find a way of doing it. Maybe there's just a trick to it. I don't know. Okay, and I'll just connect this with a little path. Uh. Actually, no, what? No, I'll do a little road. It'll probably look better. Ah, there we go. Like that. Nice. Okay, so now we've got this station. Now we need one more up at Winslow. What is the. Ah, this is in a bit of a valley, which. Hmm. Prob Actually, how. Where would I want the line to continue from here? Probably up towards Ghoul, thinking about it, because then we might be... Ghoul. Yes. Then we might have a train going from Winslow to uh, Swinton and Ghoul. Ghoul. Which, by the way, these are place names from the actual places in the UK. <laughs> oh, bloody blimey. Uh, you might want to turn your light on a bit as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, Ooh. so... Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I'll put on... Actually, do I want... Okay, so I'm going to have this be a mainly as a passenger station, but I'm going to have a freight platform on one side. So, let's put in... Actually, let's, let's, put, let's put on the contour lines first. Yeah. Uh, Kanga says, there's ghouls in Transport Fever 2. I mean, that was, that was my original thought. Uh, but... And then he says, yeah, but yeah, ghoul, and that's G-O-O-L-E, which I think I have actually heard of now I, now I read it. Hmm. Gee, would I want a bridge going over there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That could actually be quite nice. Because I'm not going to extend that too far that way. Probably about to there. I'm going to have the platform curve around this way instead. Okay, so that's one of the passenger platforms. Actually, I suppose I could have it in the middle. I could have it be an island platform, thinking about it. If that works, I don't actually know if that works with this mod or not. So, actually, I'm no. I'm, I'm going to make it two separate platforms, just to be safe. So I'm adding in the tracks. Uh, I'm gonna need the other track. Oh, we've got the default trains, the Borsig and the Bavarian uh, passenger car, which we're not going to be using. But those are vanilla trains. We've already got better ones because of the mods. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add in the other passenger platform here. These are passenger, yes. Okay, then I'm going to add one more track, which mm -hmm. will be the... 
uh, the line for the freight platform, which is going to go on the inside there. And I'm going to add the freight platform to that. It should go like that. So is the, can I say, is the Borsig Borstig? <laughs> Borstig means, is German and it means bristly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, those platforms look a little narrow to me. Mm. Yeah, they do look a bit narrow, don't they? I can. Okay, let's let's quickly mend. Let's quickly fix that because I've got some wider ones that I can use. Let's use the. Oh, actually, no. For the passenger ones, I don't. I've only got the five meter ones. I've got more narrow ones, but I can. Well, put... Will this then provide a YouTube link to? Uh, I'll just check that. Is that uh, never gonna give you up or not? I oh, know it is the plane. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I I don't think we have the type of community to Rick roll us. Uh, some of them perhaps, but most of them no. I, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, so I'll put on the wider. I'll put on the twenty meter. Or ten meter? Uh, let's put let's put on a ten meter cargo platform. Okay, so this seems quite reasonable for the tracks. So this way, I would like to have a viaduct curving around, and then going up that way. And that this way is just going to connect up with our already existing line. Uh, okay, bye bye, Eliza. Thanks for coming. It was nice having you. See you. Okay, time to put on time to make this into an actual station. So this is the platform end marker. So I want this to be platform one. So I'm going to put the markers in like that. Ah, oh, um, before before he before he goes, um, Eliza says doing another overnight armor stream for charity. That's really great, mate. Um, Have fun. See you later, mate. And uh, Kango says, um, Kango says that you say, yeah, these platforms do look a bit narrow. Let's quickly fix that. Revs up bulldozer. <laughs> yes, because it is actually the bulldozer tool that you use in this to, oh. to demolish <laughs> stuff. Okay, so just putting in the freight platform now, just making it into an actual station, and it's time to connect things. Okay, now it does add some bit more modern looking decorations, but there's not really anything I can do about that. Mm. Let's put on some station platform, uh, buildings, sorry. So, uh, passenger road. Uh, we've got some of these ones. Uh, cargo road, passenger road, up, down, deco. Okay, let's just put on... Yeah, that looks a little bit too... Actually, do I want to use a... I might actually use a... Actually, no, I think, I think this station building is probably going to be fine. I can maybe add a couple of them next to each other to look a little bit better. Uh, Willis says, can you put two platforms next to each other to make it wider? I can, yes. But since we're on a slope like this, I didn't really want to do that much of it like that. Plus, I don't want this to be that large of a station. And if you zoom in, they do actually look quite wide. It's only from further away, it looks a bit narrow. Okay, so we've got the passengers thing. So I want to put on a road connecting up with it now so that buildings can maybe already start growing around it if the town is growing, which may not be at this point. So let's put the road in like that. And then let's have this go down quite drastically. Then connect up there. And I will smoothen a lot of this out. Connect that up. Is that gonna be good? 
maybe. Let's try doing it like that. And that'll work. And then to fix this hill that we have here, I'm just going to use the smoothen tool on a very large brush size and that should help with that. Oh, and the AIs are automatically put in a road connecting to it. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Uh, and it'll, it'll look better with buildings around here, I'm sure. Mm. Actually, tell you what, I'll, I'll do a little bit of this work manually, like putting in a little bit more of a hill here. And then smoothing that out. Ooh, not, not setting the height, that's not exactly what I wanted, I wanted to smoothen it. Move. More like that. There Move. we go, so it looks like an actual hill, rather than just how the road was done. Okay, now I want a... Actually, can I put on... A cargo, a cargo thing. Yes, I can. Good. So let's put on one of those. Oh, where do I want it? Because I would like to have a bridge going over this, like a road bridge, to go over on the other side. Let's see if that works. Actually, I'll save first, just in case it crashes. <laughs> okay, let's see what a road bridge going over this would look like. My lighting is terrible. Hmm? My lighting is terrible. Like I've got the main light in the room, but I don't have one that's like shining um, onto my laptop, so I can barely see the keyboard. Yeah, the road the game added is a bit steep. That will be fun in the winter. <laughs> if there were winter, then yes. Yes. Hmm. I don't think that this is going to work like that. Okay. So instead, how about having a... So that, that seems a bit tall. Let's put in the tracks first, shall we? And then we'll worry about the roads, because the tracks are a bit more <laughs> important. Okay, so standard tracks. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the contour lines. Let's connect up the main... Uh, the main line first, like the actual line first, and then worry about the connection. So, so this, this always happens, like, about midway through the stream, like, now in the middle of two hours, chat just sort of goes dead. Eh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. They're just concentrating on what I'm building. <laughs> Plus, when the archive goes up, people will watch it there. And I've noticed quite a few people watch the archive on Twitch, which actually isn't oh, great, yeah. because on Twitch, it, it, it doesn't get... Uh, it, it gets deleted after a while, and it's hard for me to see how well a video is doing because mm. I don't really check the the statistics on Twitch. Is there, a, is there maybe a way to not have an archive put up? Well, yes, but I do want people to watch it, and if that's where people prefer to watch it, then that's okay. I could also delete it after I've downloaded it, but if that would lead to people then just not watching it, then that wouldn't be great. Because, after all, yeah, yeah that's okay. I guess you want to promote the YouTube. Um, yeah. Uh, Willis says, my fingers get tired and have to take a break. <laughs> uh, now Kango's done a long one. <clears throat> that explains why chat was a bit quiet. Uh -huh. Anyhow, now that the pesky interviewer is gone, I shall consult the castle's ghost. Wait. No, 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 that, that's right. The original ghost of Gabalrock is currently on holiday in the Cranes, Craneswald for Fortress. Uh, so the little uh, ghost cousin is due to come over to my place instead. Of course. I'd slightly misplaced my remembrance of that. That's true. I mean, I remember there being a little, there being a bit of a ghost. Um, what was it, in your house that always used to watch your streams or something? Did anything come oh, of that? Oh, you mean Ghost Lady? Uh, I've, not, was, yeah. I've not seen Ghost Lady for a long time. I think maybe yeah. she's waiting for game dev to return or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe even uh, to Halloween. Who knows? Yeah. And I have put on a, in a little tunnel here. Mm. And see, I never know with you. Because cause it, it, I genuinely wouldn't put it past you. Like, somehow, some way, at some point, have Ghost Lady span off into an ARG. <laughs> well... <clears throat> to be fair, make, making one of those sounds like so much fun. It does. 
Okay, so let's see if I can put in a bridge here now. I guess I could use a level crossing if this doesn't work. Hmm. Actually, I'll do this a little bit closer. Uh, if it'll work. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four. Have it not snap. <laughs> um, actually, that hold on, that doesn't work. I'll have to do it from a bit further back. Uh, Willis says, uh, "Who knew ghosts go on holiday and have substitute ghosts replace them?" Yeah. Uh, and then Kanga says, "Ghost lady's probably waiting for game devs to return." Yeah, when the barrier between us and the paranormal is thin. <laughs> exactly. Mwahaha. <laughs> and come on, put in a. Ah, this is going just about as well as I'd expected. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's always the pillars that are the issue. Actually, that, 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 that looks like it'll work. That works, yeah. We've got a pillar in the middle. Just make sure we don't have any trains with that extra long funnels. <laughs> and that is that track is dangerously close to the wall. I know, but it's not always... You don't always have to have many options in this game. Yeah. You've got to it, it'll, of, it, it'll do. Yeah, you've got to kind of... T uh, Take what you can get, basically. Yeah. And, okay. And then I want it to kind of come around down on this side. Mm -hmm. And then I want some sort of a building over there. But I'll, I'll connect so, it. It's so satisfying just watching it splurge into <laughs> just... Yeah. And actually, you know what? I'll connect it. Uh, that seems a bit steep. I oh, know, and it got rid of my pillar. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, we've got we've got the narrow gauge stuff. Okay, at this point, hey! I'm going to have to pause the the time progression just as we get the narrow gauge stuff because I'm I actually want to use some of that instead of our our trucks. Um, do Willis suggests do a left bridge and a okay. Well, I'll read it for a second. Do a left bridge and a right bridge and meet in the middle. Hmm. Maybe. But in my, in my experience, that doesn't usually work that well. Then Kangra says, oh, you've got Duke. Uh, Duke's not to be a loco, though. Did you get Thomas stuff? Uh, n I got the Festinjog, which is the real world, uh, well, Welch Narrowgate Railway. And I do think that they have, that it comes with skins, because the Narrowgate Railway in Thomas is basically the Festinjog Railway. Like, they are, like, for, like because the, the guy who wrote it, volunteered for that railway and so uh, the locos are literally just those locos with faces and lots of the stories that actually happen there are real life stories and things like that uh, the Kanga says, uh, Tully uh, yeah Sorry? Tully i was gonna say Kanga said like you've also got the festini of railways prince yeah but it's the duke and then he corrects you ah it right <laughs> oh right festini it's just you from festini okay that makes sense Okay, so let's put on the freight building. Uh, might as well put it in there. It's going to cut off a little bit, but... Mm, okay, and then I'll put on a platform there. Do a little bit of terraforming. Sort of like that, and then I need to connect the road up. Sort of like that. And how does that look? I mean, it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> and actually, I suppose I could extend this platform a little bit. I'm not sure if I can... The, the issue with that is I can't edit the, the station. I can... I can extend the platform for looks, but I don't think it would actually count as an extended platform, though. But I'll, it be might back in just, I'll be back in just a sure. second. Sure, but it might look a bit better if I just extended it here, just just for looks, like that. There we go, that makes it look quite a bit nicer, I think. I think it would l look better with no pillar in the middle. Mm, yeah, but then having it be so flat all the way across. I mean, I know, f from there over to there, but... I actually prefer... Mm, We'll see what it looks like with the train going in here. If it is too tight, then I'll modify it. 
And actually, this already connects to a lot of the town, but since I want to do the freight stuff at the moment, it looks it does look a bit too close, but we'll see, we'll see. So what I want here is I want a uh, a truck stop. Well, a, a truck area. Uh, where should I put this? Actually, maybe having it... Would it fit in like that? Uh, probably not. Okay, so maybe extending it to maybe like, like 20 meters or so. And having it be kind of like that. I think that could work. Well, I'm a play for 76 with my bro. See, I hope everyone stays amazing. Thank you very much for stopping by and have a good gameplay session. Okay, so now this will allow for goods to actually be stored here until they get picked up by a truck. And then... Although, actually, is is that really necessary? Because this is residential over here, which doesn't need stuff. So actually, I don't think that that is strictly necessary at this point. Although these buildings up here don't get it, so I'll, I'll put it in just... I'll put it in because we're probably going to need it at some point in the future anyway. Uh, road buildings... There we go. I'll put in a, an unloading spot. There. Okay. We're gonna need a road depot. Depot. I want to put that somewhere near the industrial area, but I don't really want to curb the the growth there too much. I suppose maybe there could work. Mm. Right, hello. Hello. If I <coughs> put it there, that, that actually looks quite nice. Sure, let's put it there. You managed to read any chat? Uh, yes, I'm pretty much caught up. Sure, the only thing you need is shrubbery and lots of it. Yeah, shrubbery could look quite nice. Yes. Uh, but yeah, see you later. You're, you're, you're more than likely gone, but see ya, uh, Mickey. Um, I've heard that Fallout 76 is apparently the not as good one. Um, I've never played it myself, so I can't Me say. Definitively. I've got... Which ones have I got? I've got Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. And I've played more of New Vegas, but not too much. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so... Time to put in some signals. Actually, if that's coming in that way, it has to go in on that platform and then come out that way. That's fine. Bring us a shrubbery. Neat, neat, neat. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. If you've watched Monty Python, The Quest for the Holy Grail, you will get the reference. Oh. Uh, uh, isn't it just and the Holy Grail, not the Quest uh, for the Holy Grail? Um, I think it is just Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Maybe. I, I actually... Um, <clears throat> At university, someone did a presentation about how Monty Python and the Holy Grail is the perfect postmodern film, and he like listed, like um, he um, like he listed all the criteria that supposedly in a postmodern film, and Monty Python kept, um, and Monty Python met most mostly all of it. What was it? It was a oh, I can't I can't remember the criteria of it. I can't remember the, the criteria off the top of my head, but um, it was like, like for example, there there aren't any credits. The director like isn't credited at all, and it doesn't even make an attempt to be sort of it. It, it kind of it doesn't take itself seriously at all, which I think was a major point. Tell you what, I will just actually look up the um, what like the attributes of a postmodern film because Fight Club is also apparently one of them. I see. Um, which, which I've, which I've, which I've seen, and I don't think it's that good, personally. But hey. Okay, so where are my signals? Okay, I see. Well, the, those signals should be fine. Uh, okay, I mean they're very close anyway. Yes, he says. Okay, so let's put in our yes. train and let's see if. It oh no no no! Pause. Uh, oh, I see. Hope, actually, tell you what. 
I'm actually going to put in a depot here because the industry is about to close, which would be unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, Postmodernism characteristics. I, and I can't remember what a lot of these mean. Irony, pastiche, hyperreality, intertextuality, magical realism, unpredictability, distortion of times, and themes of paranoia. I only know what some of those mean. I'll have a look on, um, on, on Wikipedia. Okay, so um, I'm just going to... Uh, well... Yeah, I'm just going to use this one. There we go. <clears throat> Postmodernism is, in many ways, interested in the, whew, the liminal space that would be typically ignored by more modernist, by more modernist or traditionally narrative offerings. The idea is that the meaning is often generated most productively through the spaces and transitions and collisions between words and images. Interesting. Uh, A bit of postmodernism. This. Postmodernism film is often separated from modernist cinema and traditional narrative film by three key characteristics. Here we go. One of them is an extensive use of homage or pastiche, resulting from the fact that postmodern filmmakers are open to blending many dis disparate, um, dispa disparate genres and tones within the same film. The second element is meta-reference or self-reflexitivity, -reflex highlighting the construction and, re and relation of the image to other images in... Um, in media and not to any kind of external reality. Uh, let's see then. Uh, oh, here we go. A self-referential film calls the viewer's attention. Uh, that ca calls the viewer's attention is that the movie itself is a movie. Uh, a third common element is the bridging of, of, of the gap between highbrow and lowbrow activities. A bridging of the gap between highbrow and lowbrow activities and artistic styles. There we go. We saved the industry. Okay, because I connected the line to it. It, hey. it didn't close. Uh, yeah, sure. Now, Kangaroo says, uh, yeah. Kangaroo says I, I believe this is about Ghost Lady. Ah, when is she coming? My trusty ghost friend left two days ago and I can't live in the fair castle with a sound heart <laughs> when I know there is no supernatural power protecting the chemistry. <laughs> the, chem the chemistry? The premises. Wait, what's that? A beetle? Ah, that wretched wretch. He's bugged off. Off with your shoe. <laughs> Okay, so I've put it on the train. We've already got f we've got four stones loaded in the train. Four <laughs> stones, everybody. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Apparently, it goes on the wrong track. Why is it going on the wrong? Oh, ha uh, has it messed up the? It might have me messed up some. Okay, yeah. Hold on, I've got to fix this. At manage line. Bliss uh, says, "She's turned me into a newt. A newt. I got better." <laughs> also, the same film. It's when they're oh, yeah. trying to, uh, when they, with the, the the witch trial, and then they say with a weight and with wood, and it turns out actually no, she does only weigh as much as a uh, I think it was a, a duck. Mm -hmm. and Is that the one where they have, was that the one where they have um? The rabbit of Kerbanov, like the the murder rabbit. Yes. Um, and he says, as in literally bugged me. Want to find out my name no matter what, eh? <laughs> yeah, the ending of yeah. I've I've seen the ending of it of Montfort and the Holy Grail, and good grief, it just it just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just a weird film, isn't it? It is. Okay, so. Uh. Okay, it's done half its run, and actually, I'll I'll pay a bit more attention to what it looks like with the bridge, with the pillar, in a moment. <coughs> uh, Kanga says, "I have heard of liminal space." I think this was from a comment that I made from um, reading out some of the things for, uh, um, you know, the, you know, the postmodern things. Mm -hmm. I have heard of liminal spaces before. This is Kanga. I've heard of liminal spaces before. Seen many in the libra in the librarian videos where he explores liminal and or horror maps in Gary's mod. A lot of it is also in VR. Oh god. Um, yeah, because isn't it like well not the definition well not the definition of it isn't it like or a characteristic of it is that it's a place that you expect to be 
um, filled with people, and so it looks very unnatural when it's not. So mm. things like an empty, so things like an empty school, an empty um, mall. Uh, yeah, an empty. I didn't want to say shopping mall because I said I think that's an American term. Shopping centre. Um, shopping centre. That's the word. Um, uh, let's see. Well, it says a creature so fearsome it has sharp pointed teeth, <laughs> teeth and it leaps. Yeah, uh, Kanga yeah, says yeah. the Jabberwock. Surely not. We have okay, sixty so that's stones. One part of it, yeah. We have sixty stones loaded. Me. Let's I like see. to imagine that, that all of them are just pebbles. <laughs> well, we can actually. Well, when the doors open, we can actually look inside, and it's basically oh. like um, boxes full of them. Oh, I yeah. could have put on the open wagons, but since this train also is supposed to load the bricks, I've decided to use the vans instead. Oh yeah. Back in just a second. I'm just going to close up a window. Sure. Actually, I really like how Winslow is situated here in this valley. When it mm. grows, I think it will... Because the towns grow dynamically and they actually expand. I, so oh, I think I that that will look very nice in the future. Mm. Okay, now pause. Uh, that is... It is really quite close with the edge of the, the bridge. But it technically doesn't... Oh, there are at least a few inches of space. <laughs> There are a few inches space that there. Is, that is that's so difficult. There are a few inches space, and I do, I do and I do really like how this looks with the with the platform going on on the other side. That is true. Yeah, just make just don't mm. keep a train underneath it. Uh, it's got a few inches space. Gosh, it's almost, it almost feels like it's scraping along the thing. <laughs> Another could have planned and you'll hit the bridge. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> very true. The kangaroo says, Ha! Now that wretched no know nothing of sub royalty peasant of an interview will never know my name is actually. Oh, thank oh, thanks for this, Kanga. Thanks a lot. Uh, Milliam Elian Elworth Bottersand of Gubble Rock the first, I think? <laughs> Kanga says, Just looked up in my note from last year. <laughs> okay, so what I would like to do next. Actually, firstly, I want to see how is our passenger line doing. Um, <laughs> oh, we've almost got a hundred people waiting here. Where is our train? Wait. Oh, it's full. I guess we've got to upgrade these trains. Okay, so let's modify them. Let's use the six axle ones. Ooh, uh, Kanga says, yeah, maybe raise yes. the bridge up by half a meter or so. That doesn't... Uh, it, that's a bit difficult to do. And I guess it depends from, where, from what point it raises it up. Well, yeah, plus you can't really undo in this. Okay, so let's try the six with the six axle ones. Uh, and since we need more anyway, let's try a front brake. Um, couple first class ones. Sure. What's three and a half million? <laughs> uh, well, it says that they only hold seven. Apparently. I do have some other coaches, but I really do quite like the looks of these. Ah yes, the platform is really quite full. What capacity does this have? Oh, 56, that hasn't, hasn't actually expanded it that much. Actually, tell you what, let's just clone the trains. Oh, let, let's add one more train. There we go, so we've got three of them running here. That'll uh, increase the frequency, which will also um, give us more money. <laughs> How is it doing bread-wise? Actually, bread-wise, it could also use a bit of improvement. How are things going down here? 
Da, 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 da. What is our bread lines frequency? Not that high. Uh, let's let's give ourselves another bread train as well. Manage vehicles, duplicate that one. So now this is actually getting to be really quite busy. Nice. There's a lot of bread waiting oh. here. Did you want to say something? No, I'm fine. Hmm. Okay, let's see how we get on with those. Meanwhile, over here, I want to connect Winslow with Ghoul. Winslow and Ghoul. So, let's start by putting in the... Actually, yeah, let, let's start by putting in the viaduct. Is there an upgrade for the bread horse cart yet? No, not yet. Well, actually, there is. Should we do that first? Should we put in the... Hmm. Because I did want to use the narrow gauge stuff for this. Sure, let's do that. That's fun. I'll only use a little platform. I'll put the station... Actually, uh, let's, let's, let's put the station in here. Why not? Naturally, this will also work with a slope. Actually, you know what? Let's have it over... over there. A bit more of a slope, actually. So, if I have that like this, and then I'll have one over here. Actually, use this station. Actually, will I? Will I? Maybe I will. Will you? The answer is yes, surprisingly. Actually, I'll put it on the other side. And actually, in that case, I'll use this one. Okay, let's let's just do that. And then I can connect that up using the narrow gauge tracks. And is that Oh wait, is that not the narrow gauge? Oh I see. I've got to replace the tracks. One moment. And that is important to do before I add the other stuff. So if we go into track where is the narrow gauge? So it should be near the end. Ten narrow gauge tracks. All right, these are the the left for the platform. Okay. Oh, actually, I can put them on that side. So right side. Let's put them on like that. And then let's put them. Let's place them in here as well. In here. Now let's connect these. These trains are going to be really quite cute. Cute locos. Yes. Actually, I think I might be able to build this without getting rid of any buildings. Yes, just about. Kanko is putting another long one. <laughs> <coughs> Good luck. Uh, hello, can you? Did you hear that? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Ah, that must be my replacement ghost now. <clears throat> well, he's up to the first floor and peers down to the other side of the base draw, but... Oh, <laughs> oh, botter shucks. I feel like a right jester now. Come on, Ali and Erweth. Ghosts can't knock. Where did I have my thoughts? But anyway, who who actually is that? Oh. Oh? That's where that's where he ends the message. I can only assume we'll get an answer to it in a, in a bit. I've got to redo that crossing, it looks horrible. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just let's just put in the crossing first. Let's just put it in like that. Mm, like that. And then I'll connect it up. If it'll actually work. Good. 
going to need a depot, depot. Now it's called a narrow gauge depot, but the tr are the tricks narrow gauge? No, they actually aren't, even though it's called that, which is a little bit annoying, but eh, it's, it's not that bad. I'll put it, actually, can I put it in, tell you what, I'll put it, wait a minute, we can, ah, if I put it in here, then we can have a little bit of a, a railway running through the town a little bit. Uh, yes, we will have to demo, ooh, that's going to be really expensive, actually. Hmm. Actually, maybe I can put it, sneak it in through there. Actually, that's going to be much cheaper. And I am going to have to get rid of one of those houses like that, but that's fine. They can rebuild. I've paid them lots of money for it. And then it can just kind of go back around the back of these houses, which will look quite nice. Even if it is only to the depot. Or depot, yes, yes. It'll cross over like that. Okay, and then this line, actually let's pause it and I'll, actually let's save first and then I'll replace it. So I'll save the stream, I'll save, uh, I'll save it in the stream slot and then if I sell all the horse and cart, select all of them, actually what capacity do, okay, sell all of them Yes, yes. Then redo the line. This time I should make it go from there to there. Could not connect all stations, why not? Why does it say it can't connect all the stations? It's a bit weird. Am I missing a bit of track somewhere? I don't think so. Hmm. Let me just redo a little bit. Sometimes this can be a little finicky with some of the... with how some of these things work. I'll just use the normal... Um, no, no, not those ones. I want the normal narrow uh, narrow gauge. I'll just use the normal narrow gauge tracks. Ah, wait. Ooh, is it because they're... No, those should work. Theoretically. Let's just try reconnecting it. Let's let's just try rebuilding it like that. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll fix it. If not, I'll have to play around with it a bit. Uh, manage lime. Okay, where is the issue? If I put in a... Actually, that won't help. Let's see. Manage line. Add stations. Add this one. Then that one. No. Why can't it connect? Maybe it's because they're sloped. Hmm. That might be it. Yeah. Let's see. Let I'll 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 rebuild it. I'll rebuild a little bit of it. Shouldn't take too long. You can rebuild. Yes. Freight. Okay. Maybe if I use this station instead, it doesn't... Eh, actually... I'll try it with a flat station. Although I really don't want to. Mm. Actually, maybe... Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can use... Maybe I can use the freestyle station for this. I'm holding on. Yeah, maybe I can use the freestyle station for this bit. Maybe that could work. Because that usually doesn't have connection issues. Put that on there, and then use the narrow gauge track on the side. 
Theoretically, that should still work. Will it, though? Let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. Uh, okay, let's see about actually get it, letting people access this. Mm, I need a, a small little one like that. And I'll just put in a little path to connect it just so it's actually connected to the road. Sort of like that. Okay, we can we can figure stuff out later with detailing and things like that. Uh, narrow. Okay, can I connect these stations now, or do I need to replace the other one as well? So going from here up to that. Uh, fix. No. They haven't just mislaid a little bit of track, have I? I don't think that I have. Let's see. Nope. Okay, so I'll quickly replace the other station. Yeah, sometimes mods do have issues. And you need to work a little bit until it works properly. Oh god. I know. I can read it if you want to. It's not your job after all. Yeah, but I want you to keep I want you to complain. Um uh, one second. <clears throat> okay. Good. Yeah, can you read it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Good gracious gosling Good gracious goslings me. It's rants. My little nephew, I remember it all now. My sister Slidred want, went to attend that druid's class down south in Cagnor Woods and asked me to look after him for the month. But wait, how was he even able to knock when my drawbridge is raised? Oi, down there. Uncle Milliam, greetings. How, how did you knock just now? Ever heard of ten-foot poles? Grinsley re recently invented a telescopic one. <laughs> How long does it take you to come up with this stuff? Good question. Okay. Didn't really intend to spend this long on it, but oh well. It by it I mean uh, building this bit. Yeah. Okay, we've still we've still got time. So let's see if it works with... If it doesn't work with the... I, because the thing is, I have tested these mods. And the narrow gauge railway did work. So maybe it's just the station that I'm using. Uh, well, it says, what if you created a new line instead of reusing the old one? Actually, that might fix it. <coughs> and so, Kanga says, go on. I remember that in... it. This never used to cause issues, but maybe if it's... Uh, maybe if it's so set on being a, a road line, maybe. Ah, and that solved it. <laughs> yeah, it, it has just bitten itself onto... It has grappled onto being a road line for some reason. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think I am going to have a little passing loop. Even though I know this. Oh, not, not with a platform. Definitely not with a platform. I don't want a platform as a passing loop. That does not sound good. To me, at least. Just sort of there, then connect in like that. And add a couple of signals. Uh, Kanga says, oh, don't remind me of that inventor. Last time I tried one of his products, it ended have me having to escape a dungeon. My clothes still have that nasty old dungeon smell. Oh, <laughs> me. 
Yeah, must be a DM board then. <laughs> okay, so we've got the prince, the narrow gauge prince, in the prince livery and the other uh, duke liveries, which are the Tony and Friends ones. But it's just the livery, and, not the thing. But I and think. Not the, and not the artist formerly known as. <laughs> Okay, so narrow gauge. Uh, wait, do we not have? Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's happened? Uh, I don't think we have narrow gauge ones that can actually load grain. Yeah, we've only got the ones that... Oh, we do have grain, not not food. That is an issue. <laughs> so... Oh dear. Uh, can you say it came up to, with me just now at what writers I was typing? I'm going to say, so it should be purple? I mean... That's not the... Issue. The issue is that it does... I, I thought that I had unlocked all the cut the wagons for it, but apparently I've only got those two. So also why, also, why is it called livery for trains and buses? Because that sounds like a place where you'd get like vital organs. Why is it not just called colour scheme? I don't know. Maybe Kango knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that is an issue, I will admit. Which means that that basically doesn't work. Okay, so, guess what? I'm putting in the horse and cart again. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. And Kango's put in a um, Wikipedia article for the library. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so... I don't remember how many I had. Maybe something like that? Actually, a few more, probably. But we can leave the railway in place for when we actually get the, the correct stuff for it. So actually, I'll resume the time again because we need to unlock stuff. Livery is an identifying design such as a uniform ornament symbol or insignia that designates ownership or affiliation often found on an individual or vehicle. There you go. Okay, so let's put in the passenger line that I originally wanted to put in. We probably have time. Okay. We got 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, let's put in the viaduct first. Viaduct? I have no idea. Okay, and I want this to go in a curve like that. Let's see what sort of bridge. Uh, maybe a medium arched one. Maybe even small, ooh, who knows. Actually, maybe maybe having having it continue straight, well, straightish. Eh, who knows? L let's let, let's let's do it like this. Uh, the contour lines will actually help with this quite a lot. Okay, so we connect in about there, height-wise. I think this is a quite a nice bridge for this. Or maybe, actually, no, I quite like that. Uh, no, it was from coconuts, I believe. Okay, ah. Ho hopefully this will work and won't. Uh, okay, let let's see Let's see if I, if I do it the other way. There we go. Sometimes if it wants to create a level crossing and you drag the bridge over from the other side, it'll actually put in a bridge. Yeah, it was when they were doing the hotel thing and they were... Um, I shall redesign this a little bit. 
Yeah, where they they wanted to where where he was where Groucho was giving Chico directions to where the auction will be held. Okay, now let's see. Can I actually make a road go underneath here and it look good? The answer yeah, is gonna, yes. I was going to say I I think Duck Soup was one of the Marx Brothers ones. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. There we go. So we've got a nice carving viaduct going across the wasn't, valley. Wasn't Duck Soup the last one that Zippo Voucho was in? Mm, no, it might have been Zippo. Zippo. Maybe. Was it Zippo? Uh, ooh, might have been Zeppo. I don't quite Gra recall. Was Groucho the one with the with the moustache? Yes. Or no? Yeah, because I remember you sending me like a compilation. This is this is my wife. You should be ashamed. If that's your wife, you should be ashamed. <laughs> yes. Totally not poli totally not politically accurate. Uh, no. Or whatever, but. <laughs> well, it's wordplay to a certain extent. Oh yeah, definitely. But that's what word, but that's what it's about, isn't it? Words, which words mm. are seen as acceptable and which words aren't. But I don't want to go into that because that is a sticky no. situation. I mean, I kind of do and I kind of don't. Just have a stream where we talk about politics and stuff like that for two hours. <laughs> that could get sticky, but it would no doubt be interesting. Oh, it would definitely be interesting, but. Uh, it might have negative consequences because I know yeah. that certain platforms aren't fond of discussions like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going up to Ghoul. Up to Ghoul. So, there's a really steep valley here. Well, a really steep slope here. So, it would be good if we went up on an incline. So probably if we start here, then go down like that, and then along there, maybe put a little bridge in there. Uh, something like that. That is going to be a bit of an embankment, but well, actually, maybe I can have it current straight for a little bit more, a little bit longer. Then have that go over. 50 miles an hour seems reasonable. Doesn't that seem reasonable? <clears throat> uh, Kango says, Gummo wasn't in any of the films, and Zephyr was only in a few of them. Yeah, I think Gummo was also known as um, Huo. Okay, so if I have a viaduct, well, if, it, if it'll even build one here, uh, like that, sure. That seems like quite a nice little bridge. Let's use a red brick one. Why not? Let's mix it up a bit. And use a small arch. Uh, like that. Because even though freight in this game is very lucrative usually, there is something special about passenger lines as well. And they can be quite profitable in the, in this game, if that's a concern. Okay. Uh, Willis, Willis has said Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp. I don't. I have no idea who any of those are. If I want this to stay level, I can put it in to about there. Fifty-five miles an hour. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be good to put in the other station so we know where we're headed. <laughs> uh, I think I can just use uh, uh, an old British style one. So, uh, let's increase the platform length to... How long is the other one, actually? Thinking about that, thinking about it. Um, about 160 meters should be fine. And then I'll put the station... Actually, do we want... Ooh, we might want it to go... Ooh, ah, yes, 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 yes. So if we have the line coming up to Ghoul, we might want a line going up, uh, going horizontally here from Camforth via Ghoul to Holt Whistle. Holt Whistle. And then probably down to Brighton as well, or something like that. So if I have a station on that angle, 
with two platforms. That is probably going to be quite nice. Uh, Kanga says, uh, to respond to Willis's comment, ah, The Four Stooges, but I've still not seen that movie yet, unfortunately. Uh, Willis says, only three at a time, Curly replaced Shemp. Um, mm, I've, I've seen that movie a long, long time ago. Let's make it. Willis says, Willis says, hmm, a town named Ghoul. It is, is it inhabited by the undead? Being as it's in England, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the station in mostly. Uh, let's let's put in a, a pond in the middle thing. Why not? Okay, like that. Let's connect up the road. The reason why I've gone for three platforms, well, three tracks, is because I'll probably want a. I probably want the main line going straight through, and then I've got an additional separate track for a branch going down to uh, Winslow. Does it look like it? I'll be the, I'll let you be the judge of that. Ghoul docks. Ah. <laughs> okay, so I've put the station in. Let's quickly save. So, since actually. Ooh, that could actually be quite nice. I was originally going to have the line just coming up the side here, just on the field, but with the way that I've placed the station now, we could maybe have the line going in between these uh, big hills, and that would probably actually look quite nice. So let's do that. Uh, yes, there's the stream title indeed. Okay, so step one, profit. No, wait, that's the last step. Um, let's see, where is the, tra okay, I've, I've got it selected, good, good. Let's have this go straight, yes, A and let's have it go level as well. Let's pause it <coughs> so it doesn't construct stuff. Uh, Kanga says, the response to, I think Willis said it, um, does Ghoul look like it? I'll let you be the judge to that, and then a picture of Ghoul, and then he says the stream title. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'll put this track in first. Then I'll put the other two in after. Ah, uh, too much slope. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to bulldoze that little bit of road there and put in the tracks and then put in the road afterwards. And then put in the road, yes, like that. Will that work? That'll connect, okay. And it'll, the town will rebuild the buildings. That, that's no issue. Okay, now here, this. Now here, the, no. Um, let's have this go straight for a tiny little bit. Sort of like there. Uh, Willis says, Sheridice needs to paint the ghoul station bright orange. <laughs> really? I had no idea I had to do that. Being as it's only five minutes till the end, I might head off in just a bit. Alright. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Yeah, I will probably head off. Mm -hmm. um, it's been lovely. It's been lovely joining. Yeah, it was great. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I will hopefully see the rest of your... Um, Oh, hang on. Um, okay. Kanga says, uh, not not the last. The prophet is only usually step three. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, right. Only. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you mind if I plug my server for this? Or, like, Go ahead. Uh, right. <clears throat> I have got a um, um, like a text-based role-playing server. It's quite, it's quite casual. Um, it's only, you know, do it if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. Um, I think the link is already in the. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, it's already in the. Is it self promote or is that for, is that kind uh, of promote? Stuff? It's promotions of great stuff. That was what it called. Yeah, so the link is in there. Um, if for some reason it doesn't work, just uh, just DM me. Um, but yeah, uh, I will hopefully see you all on the next stream, and I will see you, Shadowdice, tomorrow. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, might as well close out Discord. 
Okay, so I am going to. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm I'm not going to extend that because I do want this to be a uh, a branch platform. So I'm just going to have the level crossing going across like that, which unremarkably is quite level. And tell you what, I might as well connect those two like that because it, the game's going to do it anyway at some point. Actually, let, let's do it in one. That way it'll be a little smoother. If it can actually connect. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got Ghoul Station. Now we just need to connect that with the other line. And actually thinking about it, uh, the, the line to hold, hold Whistle is actually going to go through here as well probably, so we're going to have the junction in here. Which actually now that I'm looking at it is going to be quite nice. So let's tell you what, let's put in the junction first. And then let's put in uh, and then let's put in the the connection later. So I want this to be pretty much straight. So now we've already got a target of where we want to get to with this, basically. Eh, so 50 miles an hour seems reasonable for junction. Uh, many thanks for right. Ah, I see. Good. Okay, so let's connect this bit first. Um, eh, sure, let's do it from this side. And I'm going to have to have this go downhill, probably from here already. Mm, maybe have the curve be a little bit different. Well, I suppose it do it should probably be quite steep actually. Having it go like that, then connect up. It has created a little bit of a cutting here, but that's fine. I think this is actually going to be quite a scenic route. And of course, it's misaligned it. So you connect that up to there. And wait a minute, does this town also require bricks? No, it doesn't, okay. Actually, I don't like that little curve there. It's a bit too steep. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to retract that statement. Uh, no. <laughs> actually, I'm going to rebuild this bit. So, let's see. I want there to be a, a straight bit there. Then let's connect this up so that this line is has a smooth curve. And then I'll connect up the branch. Like that. That should look good. Yes, good, good. And then this will carry off in that direction. Although looking at it now, I should probably have this already start its curve going that way. And just kind of... Um, ah, there we go, there's a little bit there that was in the way. Have this parallel if it works. There we go. Now what does this look like? It actually looks really quite nice. I might add a fence or something along here as well. Okay, and then that'll kind of... Actually, it fits quite nicely with the slope of the terrain. Or a scenic route. It's going to be a scenic route or a scenic route. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay, and then into the station, which admittedly is quite long, but we're probably going to have some long trains in here at some point. Okay, now we need to connect that with that back there. How are we going to accomplish that? Well, basically... <laughs> 
let's have it carry on along here first. And then either we're gonna have a cutting there or we're gonna have it loop around. I think probably having a cutting here is going to be a reasonable choice to, to make. And then have the curve probably start around there for it to go downhill. Is this later product in this? No, but it might be one with a mod, who knows. Okay, so now it needs to start curving downhill. Which it is doing, but not really fast enough. So I need to make this curve a bit... ...sharper. How far do we need to go down, by the way? Uh, ooh, all the way down to there. That is going to be quite the, the climb in that case. I'm gonna keep it at around 55 if possible. Okay, so that's going downhill. Good, good. Is that actually smooth? Eh. Not as smooth as I would like, really. It's because it's on a downward slope. If I put it up to there, then have it cross. <clears throat> Is it going to be better? Eh, a bit. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we need to connect over there. Okay. So maybe if we have this already going a bit further down from here. Double nickels, eh? What do you mean? Mm. Hm. I see. I had not... I, 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 of course, had heard about the currency nickel, but not about the term. Oh, 550. Oh, 50-50. Oh, 50-50, I see. That makes sense. Okay, so if I have this go around a curve like that, that is going to put a bridge in, but not really one that I... Well, I suppose that might look quite nice. Maybe make it another brick one. Um, <laughs> maybe one with that might look quite nice. Test! Okay, you tested. Yesterday, even. Although, do I like the idea of the bridge sloping like that? No, I think I like the, the idea of the bridge being more level. Even though it's probably not as efficient, but... I like the idea of it being level more. In which case, I think I'm going to have to have it a little bit further back. So, let's see. If I have this go maybe up to there, and then have the, the thing being level at this point. Ooh, that is going... Oh, I, oh, I see! It's... Ah, ha, 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 ha. if the trees weren't in the way, I could align this up much better. Maybe if it's going up to there, and then going off level. Ah, yes, that is much nicer. Okay, and then let's use... Uh, that one. Even though this is going quite far back along this way. How does that look? 
it really is going all the way into that valley. Maybe having it a little bit sooner might look better. So if I maybe have a bit of track there and then have it come over like that. I think that will look better. That way it'll look a little bit more necessary. Ah, oh, the symbol doesn't work. All right. Put in quote in south quotes. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it like this. Let's uh, delete that back until there. Connect those up. Ahem. Although, actually, with all this curving, I suppose we could follow the contour, the contours a little bit more. So ha actually, having it a bit more, like th almost like that. Hold on, having it like that. Ah, yes, that looks much better. Oh, Streamlabs, we got a problem. Really? What do you mean? Oh right, because it doesn't seem to work in the thing anymore. Hmm. Okay, let's put on this. What if... Okay, so is this the left track? I uh, know it's the... Is it? Yeah, it is the left track. Okay, so if I just try to connect this up to the left track here, what would that do? It would put in a cutting a little bit, but actually that is quite nice. Actually that works! If I go so far as to say that, which I probably have. Okay, so now connecting that up all the way along here. All the way along here. Connect that up to somewhere. All the way back there, good good. Build that. Okay, like this it doesn't really look like that far, but it is really quite a distance. Now I need to save and put on signals. Uh, let's go from here. Oh, actually I've remembered something. Mm. I'm going to need a crossover track here as well. Okay, so we've got a line coming in this platform already, which then goes out that way. So having one going in on the other one, so that we can use it as a... Mm, as a two-line one if we want to. The only issue with that is that it really doesn't want to work that well. Although maybe from here. Okay, so from there it'll work. From here? Ah, no. Here it'll try to build a an embankment, which I don't want. Like that? What would that look like underneath? Actually, that'll look good. Okay, so we've actually got that line in. So it'll come out that way, go out that way. Good, good. Put on signals. Have a signal up there. And actually on this side, let's have a signal at the end of the platform and one at the end of the platform here. Road tunnels were possible in train fever, right? I think so, yes. Why do you ask? Is there a particular reason for your question? If I recall correctly, actually, hmm. Maybe they weren't thinking about it now. I actually don't recall. Maybe they, maybe they weren't. Although hardly. No, that, that seems like such a basic thing. It's going to be so nice having a train riding up along here. So 
So does diamonds in it? <laughs> it does. Diamonds do seem like a quite a basic thing, but if you think about it, diamonds are actually quite rare uh, uh, in uh, outside of urban areas. Both the rocks and the railway infrastructure. Uh, at least on the surface. What it's like underground, who knows. And that seems like a reasonable distance. Then maybe one more set in here. And then we go into the station. So, uh, I will quickly set up a bus route here, because we're going to need it for, to generate passengers. It'll only take a moment. Uh, so we've actually got coverage from there. So I would like the bus line to go up there and then down there and then up here like that. And tell you what, why I I I forgot to configure the station. Uh, I I don't think we have any of the roofs yet. Oh, we do have the roofs. We could use some of these roofs. Ah, we've got more narrow gauge stuff. Do we have any... No, we don't have any other cars. We could actually use... Ooh, that actually might look quite nice here. Tell you what, since this does appear to be a larger station... Let's try using the Liverpool roof. Why not? Uh, because it's a bit small for this. Eh, it'll be fine. So I did want to demonstrate these. And it would be good to have if we had another um, platform on the other side, but maybe we can add that later. Does that look good or is it a bit too small? Might be a bit too small actually. What do you think? Should I leave it or... Uh, it doesn't... Uh, no, I've changed my mind. We, 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 I'll, I'm going to use it later. We would really need a little bit of a... We would need a bit more of a bigger, of a bigger. Uh, we would if we had one more platform on the on the side of the bottom, and if we add that, then I I will put it back. But for the moment, no, not it doesn't really fit. It's too small. Um. <laughs> uh, however. Actually, which, which one was the one that I was using? Uh, misc? Was there a misc? Oh no. Platforms. Oh, where was the roof? Passenger buildings. Mm, no. Mm, let's see if I can find it. Was it in here? Was it in King's Cross Assets? I don't think so. Canopy! There we go, of course. Let's use the green one. Although, actually... Having a... Hmm... Having the canopy... Let, let's see, where do I want the overpass to go? And I think I'm going to use the other one, like this overpass. We could have it at the very end. Although for that we would need to use the... I should tell you what, let's replace these with the, the... The platforms, I mean. Let's replace them with... Uh, let's replace them with the... Old King's Cross ones, because of the... What I, what I want to say, because of the the footbridge, because it would it would do that automatically. So I guess it'll delete the buildings as well. We, we can we can fix that later. I'll pause it. I know, I know, but I want this stage to look good. Okay, so let's put in the correct platforms that'll work with the uh, with the canopy and the footbridges. Then let's go into... 
passenger buildings. And I believe we were using the large ones. Or maybe the even larger ones. I believe it was the... Was it this one? I don't know. It doesn't have to be that exact. I think it was actually this one. I think that'll fit quite nicely here. Even if we were using the other one before. And then maybe put on some... Oh, hold on. Lag. There we go. Oh, is does that count as a... Oh, that counts as a, a point where you can enter from. Interesting. The little shelter. Sure, let's put that on there. Why not? Actually, that doesn't work. Hold on. One moment. I'm still getting used to all this stuff as well. If I go into the passenger building stuff... Okay, that'll get rid of it. If I put on this one... Okay, it's just if I put it there. Okay, well, let's, let's put it in... Ah, I see, so these don't get rid of buildings. Anyway, I'll I'll let, let's just leave it like this for now. For now, for now. Or I could do it manually. I'll tell you what, I'll do it manually. I'll do it manually, I've decided now. I'll put that in there. And I'll delete this building and I'll put on a little road going back there. Just to connect a little path. Oh wait, does this not actually connect? Oh. Oh, this one might not actually connect. It doesn't it looks like it's not connecting. That's a bit unfortunate. Really? Is that a bug? Um Does it need a connection? It it looks like it does, but it doesn't look like it's actually connecting there. Hmm. I didn't really want to spend the time doing this now. I suppose I could put this in if I really wanted a connection back here. Tell you what, no. I'm gonna leave it as is. For now. Just gonna put in a little building back here. Actually, I'm gonna put in the building with a clock. I'm going to go back here, put in the little building either side. There we go. Now I can put in the thing that I actually wanted, which is the footbridge. I think I'm going to have two of them. I'm going to have one here. I'm going to have one there, sure. And then we can have the canopy between. Can I actually put this canopy on that, or will that replace the... I should know that'll work, by the looks of things. So we can put that in there. Ah, the the clocks. Yeah, so this doesn't... I, I'm gonna have to use the King's Cross canopy for this. Let's go back here. Chuck, chuck, chuck. It doesn't need a connection. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's put this in here, which will actually have the, the clocks connect properly. It's still a nice canopy. And then we can have some uh, shelters back here. And then... Does this one connect? No, I don't think that one connects either. Strange. Anyway, let's have a... Let's have some stuff there, and let's have some benches on the middle platform. Actually, wait, can I have benches underneath? Ooh, I can! Look at that! Sure, go ahead. That's nice. A uh, clocks for the seagulls. <laughs> yes. Love it, great. Okay, so... I think that's good. Ghoul, yes. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> call it Ghoul Central. Um, no, I'll leave it as Ghoul for now. And then uh, we did I actually put in a, a line. No. <laughs> Did I put in a depot, depot, or did I got? I think I got distracted before putting in a depot. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I got distracted before putting it in. Okay, well, since this place is already quite has already got quite a lot of industry here, how about we just put it, put the, our depot in there, just sort of like that. I think that fits quite nicely. So now let's actually put in the ghoul line, which I definitely haven't made yet. We'll call it ghoul bus. I'll put on a couple vehicles, just a few omnibuses. Three should be fine. Ooh, and actually that reminds me, I need to quickly check the if the buses are doing their job or if they're overloaded over here. Actually, not over there, in Erith. Ah, uh, yes, there are, ju in fact, a lot of them waiting. How many people are waiting? 31. Let's go by, like, maybe four more buses. Okay, so... Zub, zub, zub. Line making. Ghoul bus <laughs> sounds like something out of Scooby-Doo. You're right, it does. Okay, so we've got the ghoul bus. Do we need a bus down here, or is the coverage good? Uh, we really need a bus down here. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly do that. It'll only take but a moment. Uh, da -da 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 I want the bus to go this way around, so I'll have the bus stop pretty much right there. And then I wanted to kind of do a figure eight, so I'll have a bus stop up there. One up there, and then that one's already covering that. So now I need a depot. Actually, I've already got a depot. Haha! -ha! For the for the other line, which I wait. Do, have I not put a? Hold on. I've actually forgotten to put this. One moment. One moment. Winds low. Truck. That'll that'll work. Winslow truck, now I need one more, which should be the Winslow bus. Ah, that's not actually how I want it to go. Okay, so I'm going to have to put in either a waypoint or another stop. So I'm thinking another stop. Maybe have it there. Then add a station up there. Okay, call this one Winslow Wind slow bus. Okay. Buy some vehicles. I'll buy one for the truck line, just in case it's needed. And I'll buy a couple of the. And let's do four for the bus line. Okay, let's save. Um, Limex sounds, yes, yes. You've heard of the mystery machine, but are you ready, are you ready for a ghoul bus? Missing that, what? All right. Uh, keep forgetting about the code, it's not working. Well, I can see it. It's just not working on there for, for some reason. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, the depot is facing the wrong way. <laughs> I think we're going to need another depot here, just so, so we've got one facing e either way. Which is a little annoying, but... Oh well. Or maybe, tell you what, maybe we can have one up by Ghoul. Ooh, actually, maybe that could be... Maybe that could... Oh no, I can't have it connect up to where the the platform is, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Although, I do quite like the look of having it up here. I think that looks quite nice. Like that. And then let's connect this up quickly. Put on a quick little signal there. And then uh, almost done. Let, let's have that. Let's push the signal back a little bit to there. Add one there. Delete that one. Now I can put in the line, which will go from Ghoul down to Winslow, which will eventually be extended down to probably Swinton. So, but let's call this one the Ghoul Winslow uh, branch. Why not? And is it using the platforms correctly? That's another question. The answer is yes over here. And maybe back here? No, I, I want this to use... At Ghoul, I want this to use platform 3. Okay, now I can put on a train. Let's do this. I don't want it to be narrow gauge. What do we want? <laughs> We could use the Jenny Lind again, which might not be a bad call. Actually looking at it, yeah, that's probably the best version. Uh, the best loco for this. Yeah, let's use this one. Dean Goods, nah, this one, this one's better for this, I think. Especially since it's passenger, I don't really want it to be that expensive because passenger stuff does tend to uh, not make as much money as other things. And for this, should we actually use the compartment car? Maybe. Actually no, because that is much slower. Sorry. Uh, the six axle ones. Okay, we're gonna use the six axle ones. And in terms of color, maybe I actually hmm, let's use the the teak ones. Why not? And then let's put a break at the end. I tell you what, let's buy, well, let's buy one of these trains to start with. Ah, actually, since we're using, since we're using a, since this is a passenger, let's recolor it. What should this be colored? Maybe a dark red, like a maroon. I think that might look quite nice. Let's put it on our ghoul line. Let's save just in case. And actually, you know what? I'll quickly put in a little road, just so that the game can... Will that work? Ah! It'll actually put in a... Oh, come on. It'll actually put in a crossing there! Even with a medium road! That is immensely exciting. I'm sure you'll find. Okay, so I'll quickly put in a little road here, just so that the AI can start growing along this bit. Should it want to do so. Um, improved engine, ochre. <laughs> ah, sure, sure. sure. Uh, yay! Great, okay, so. That bump looks interesting. Um, can I make this get look a little smoother, maybe? Maybe if I did one in one thing. Yeah, that looks much better. So. Uh, I'll actually move this signal to be before the crossing in that case. One moment. There we go. Let's save and then let's ride our train. There we go.
Uh, doesn't that look nice? Oh, and the eyes built a little road along here. That just fits so perfectly, doesn't it? Okay, well, let's just ride this along and then... We're half an hour over time! You didn't tell me! Okay, let's put it over here. Actually, I should probably also at some point add the invisible whistleboards to the level crossings because that is something that's needed. Okay, so here we go. Two-tone red maroon as well. <laughs> Because we were having fun. Yes, I know, but still, <laughs> good stuff to do. And it's half an hour to midnight here. Charles, you said really quick and such, and I thought it w wouldn't take that long. Well, yes, that 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 is true. It there, and it did do the things really quickly. It just. There, there were just so many more things that I wanted to do really quickly. Ah, uh, what nice woodland this is. Just one more thing. <laughs> yes, only I don't smoke cigars. <laughs> Ah, uh, so nice. <laughs> Look at that view. This bit might... I might be able to make this bit a little bit smoother. Hmm. That's a thing I might have to revisit at some point in the future. And then imagine having whistle boards here where it automatically does this as it's approaching the crossing. Just one more thing, just one more thing. I know. <laughs> Fifty miles an hour. And look at that bridge. Doesn't that look nice? Imagine having a uh, Ghoul Erith Express. Charles Willis said w one one and more more. Alright, just one one more thing and one more more thing. Ah yes, right. <laughs> I didn't spot that. The flange squeal. Ah, oh, there's a deer. Okay. We're getting close to Winslow. There's a little bridge. Should go. Yeah, so we've got this bridge and then we are coming into the station. Ah, Winslow looks so nice in the valley, doesn't it? And I think the AIs 
built stuff on the road. Yeah, see, this is this is what I wanted. The viaduct going over here. And then you can see over there, the AI's already built stuff on the road that I connected to it. And there are people waiting. Wonderful. Look, see, it's already built stuff along here. It's almost as if someone's delivering them bricks. Okay, so how many people are waiting? 19 people, that's actually quite a good thing for a first run. So look, you can see all the buildings along here, all the buildings along there, going up this way. Even a building down here with a train going along up above it. Then along here as well. Just look at that. So maybe that could all that could be a good thumbnail. Actually, let me quickly. Uh, can I not? Uh, camera mount. Can I not change? All oh, right. I see. Um. Hold on, can I not, if I close that window, oh, it'll go out. Anyway, so something like that might be nice as a thumbnail. Dear instead of bears, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit further back. It does add seagulls, yes. Okay, um, would it be good if they just let you choose which animals would allow to appear on the map when starting a game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Shane, like a little, yeah. And look, there are actually people using this bus stop. Although I think we need, yeah, we need more. I need more buses. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy about this. Even this, it, yes, it needs a little bit more decoration, but. I quite like this. I'm happy with that. Ish. It needs a bit more stuff, I think. How about back here? Oh yes, there are lots of people waiting here. Uh, right, do we only have one vehicle? Oh, three. No, we need more. Six. Nine. Probably twelve. Twelve should be good people waiting along here as well. How very nice. <clears throat> Tell you what, just to make the AI's job a little bit easier. There we go. <laughs> just so, just so that it actually, although actually you're thinking about it, maybe having it follow the curve of the track like that would be better. Yes, I prefer that. Do I? Yes, I think so. Anyway, I can change it. I can change it later. Let's save and then end the stream. Uh, the only wild bears in the UK are poo bears. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Probably. Oh look, and it, this town's even already expanded over here onto the hillside as well. That'll be quite nice. And here we've already pretty much got access to our other uh, construction materials plant and quarry. So what we could do is have a train running stone from this quarry down to our uh, Winslow Conmat production plant and have another train run stone from down there up to here. That way that might be a little bit better. Um, might be a little bit better profit wise. Okay, so I'll save and then I'll end. There we are. Thank you all very much for watching. Sorry for going over time. 
And until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.